Now, the Utah Jazz are in a really interesting situation ever since they traded their two stars away in the apparent rebuild. They were supposed to be tanking for Wemby this year, but they've done pretty much the opposite. They started off the 2023 season with a 10 3 record and since have gone 27 28, but then 10th the West. This video really isn't to talk about what the Jazz are doing as a franchise, though, but more of what they've already done. They recently drafted a player who's slowly starting to get his name in the media more with some impressive offensive and defensive performances. If you watch NCAA basketball, you probably won't be surprised at this, but for everyone else, let me introduce you to the next Rudy Gobert, Walker Kessler. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy 2KJ here, and today I want to talk about one of the more underrated rookies that were in the draft. Obviously, the big names of Chet and Paolo dominated discussions, but one potentially big name flew under the radar in my opinion. Imagine if I told you a player at a height of 7'1 was incredibly mobile, an unbelievable shot blocker, and reigning NCAA Defensive Player of the Year. You'd probably think it was Chet Holmgren, and it's not really crazy to say that. In his 3.2 career games at Gonzaga, Holmgren averaged 3.7 blocks per game with a high of 7 and a total of 115. But Walker Kessler is different. After transferring from University of North Carolina to Auburn, he proceeded to go from averaging 0.9 blocks per game to an unreal 4.6. Even crazier, he notched two triple doubles that season, with double digit block totals of 11 and 12. Those who watched college basketball knew how unstoppable Kessler was on defense, with a school record of 155 blocks in his 34 games. Not only has he slowly begun to show off this defensive prowess in the league, he's also shown off another one of his incredibly strong attributes, rebounding. Having a shot blocking center is always an important thing in the league, but having a center that can get you extra chances in offensive boards is invaluable. Kessler has been showing himself with 11 double doubles so far, and even a 2020 game recently against Rudy Gobert and the Timberwolves. In my opinion, after watching him in college, it was obvious that whoever team picks him up is getting a player that can definitely develop into a serious threat defensively. But his offense has definitely started to pick up steam too, shooting a very efficient 71% from the field, but stats mean nothing without a solid comparison. So let's say what he stacks up against the other rookies in his class. Now, in terms of centers, Jalen Duran and Chet Holmgren are really his main competition, but let's look at all the rookies for now just to see how he stacks up against the field. After 52 games played, Kessel ranks second in rebounds, first in field goal percentage, first in win shares per 48 minutes, and first in box plus minus, showing his impact on the floor is just as good as we think it is. Even further prove this, he leads all rookies in win shares with 4.4 and VORP with 1.2, a metric that's used to calculate wins above replacement, basically how many wins the players contributed to the team. This shows that between all rookies, statistically the most important one of their team has been Walker Kessler, but these are rookies. Let's see how he stacks up against some of the best centers in the league for a change. Remember how I told you he was a monster at getting offensive boards? Yeah, Kessler ranks top five in offensive rebound percentage in the entire league as a 21 year old rookie. That is insane, but not only is that, he's top 10 in true rebounding percentage, top two for block percentage, has a higher win share per 48 than Giannis Antetokounmpo, and is only 21 years old. I think it's safe to say the Jazz found their Gobert replacement, and it's really easy to see why. If you watch these clips I've put up in his game, you can see how he has a very, very easy time getting to the basket, and he is very aware on getting rebounds. As you can see here in this 2020 game, a lot of the points that they get down the stretch are because of those offensive rebounds he gets. Here he tips in a basket, there he gets an offensive rebound and puts it back in. He's doing it all on the floor, and those are the exact type of players that you need in a rebuilding franchise or in any franchise at all. I think Kessler is going to develop into definitely a multi-defensive time player of the year, and I think honestly the sky's the limit for the kid. He's 21 years old, he's a rookie, he can grow, and I think Ainge got himself a good one, but as the season goes on and he gets more comfortable scoring, I definitely think that's going to become the focus, is whether he can put points on the board. He obviously has shown that with that 2020 game, but making sure that he can do something on offense and provide points is definitely going to be the one point that we look at in the future for him. But what do you think about Walker Kessler and the Jazz? I definitely think he's going to develop into an incredible player a couple years down the line, and 
think the Jazz got a good one. But what would you think down in the comment section? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Peace.